the top story, certainly uh, what Treasury Secretary Timothy Geithner had to say. Reggie, this is a new voice being heard around the world. Uh, Geithner unveiling today a multi-pronged plan, uh, the aim to fix our nation's broken banks. The goal of that to help restore credit to individuals and to businesses that really do rely on getting credit, getting loans from those banks. Uh, just in that live hearing you had before this, uh, Reggie, you heard uh, Alabama Senator uh, Richard Shelby saying, listen, is this plan going to be a 180 degree difference from what we saw? Uh, from Paulson and Geithner said yes yes it will be that is the big question let's pull up a graphic here and go through what he unveiled this morning because there are four main points I want to tell you about here first test the bank's health that's a big one the Treasury is gonna stress test of sorts these banks and see what ones really need capital uh, one one question that was answered that was on a lot of people's minds is will the Treasury ask Congress for more money the answer not right now they're gonna use that remaining 350 billion dollars of TARP funds that has been allocated the second thing make more credit available that is the goal the Treasury is going to provide $100 billion in addition to extend its lending to individuals and to businesses. The third uh, prong of all of this is a private-public partnership. The idea here, remove those toxic assets from the bank's balance sheet so that they can start lending again. And also, you hear that partnership word, that means get the private sector involved, get them investing once again so that everyone has a stake in this, not just the government, which is using, of course, our money, taxpayer money. And finally, the fourth part of this is Last but not least, certainly fix the housing crisis. The Fed and the Treasury together committing $50 billion of that TARP money to reduce mortgage payments, establish new loan guidelines, uh, and banks that get any TARP money going forward, they're going to have to commit to participate, Reggie, in those foreclosure mitigation programs. So these are the four parts of the plan. Uh, Geithner saying just this afternoon it's going to be 180 degrees different than what we saw under the former Treasury Secretary Hank Paulson. He did say it will not be a smooth road ahead. He said it's going to be tough. Take a listen to what Geithner had to say. But I want to be candid. This strategy will cost money, it will involve risk, and it will take time. We are going to have to adapt our program as conditions change. We will have to try things we never tried before. We will make mistakes. We will go through periods in which things get worse and progress is uneven or interrupted. You know, it's very interesting to me, Reggie, that he said this right at the get-go. This is one of the first times that Americans and people around the world have really heard Timothy Geithner speak in detail about his plans to fix our economy. And there was a lot of criticism uh, for his predecessor, uh, Hank Paulson, about changing the TARP program multiple times and not doing what uh, was originally voted on by Congress to allocate that money for. So he's saying, listen, there will be mistakes, but we're going to do our best. And I think that what you said is key, that there's no plan right now to right. spend more money. But he just, you know, when he was answering the, one of the questions, he said, I'm not here to ask you for more money, but I do want to tell you this is going to be very expensive for our country. So yeah. it almost sounded like he was talking out of both sides of his mouth there. <laughs> Maybe hinting there, maybe uh, maybe hedging his bets, if you will. Oh, yeah, well, yeah, I guess that's a smart thing to do. All right, so let's talk about the thing that really kind of flows with this story, yeah. which is all of the job losses that we've seen over the past few months, and today is no exception. We're hearing about even more. No exception. Really, just in the last hour, we got confirmation uh, that Walmart is cutting jobs, and this is a company that a lot of people thought was immune to this recession. Obviously, they sell they sell inexpensive things, right? Generally, they cut prices, but they're feeling it too. They're going to cut seven or eight hundred jobs at their headquarters. It's not going to affect any of those store workers, though. Uh, big headline though for us here today: General Motors cutting ten thousand jobs. You see the headline here. This would be the top story if it weren't for all of the other news uh, today. But but the beleaguered automaker saying, listen, we have to cut 14 percent of our global workforce. Uh, Thirty four hundred of those job cuts are going to be right here in the U.S. You can bet that means another big blow uh, to Michigan, which is already suffering and some of those states uh, right around the Midwest there. Uh, and they're also going to, uh, Reggie, cut pay for most of the workers that do get to keep their job at General Motors. This is all part of their plan to be viable going forward. They have to present that viability plan to lawmakers of course uh, next Tuesday and this just shows us uh, from for, you know from one end to the other from Walmart to the automakers job cuts coming in uh, just in the same day and, and you know what we know that places in the Midwest like Indiana Elkhart Indiana where where President Obama traveled yesterday to talk to folks those places are really suffering when you look at that town uh, its unemployment rate went from 4.7 percent in December of 07 to now over 15 percent. So we spoke with the mayor of this town of Elkhart, Indiana this morning about people's reaction to the president making a visit. Take a listen. Well, 
uh, you know, this, 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 this thing, if, if, you've never, if you've never experienced it, uh, you know, you have to try to imagine uh, when you come to a point in time in your life, uh, when you're paying for a home, uh, perhaps an automobile, educating your children, and you don't know where the next paycheck is going to come from or when it's going to come. That's uh, a reality facing a lot of Americans right now. Uh, another part of the government's plans to bring relief to Elkhart and places across the country is that economic stimulus package. As you know, Reggie, about 12.45 Eastern time today, uh, passing in the Senate its version, a vote of 61 to 37. Now they just have to come to an agreement.